The new LEGO Marvel Summer 2023 sets have been revealed and I'm going to give my thoughts on them. The first set is Iron Man Hulkbuster vs Thanos 4 Plus set. This is yet another Hulkbuster and I get that this is different because it's a 4 Plus version and to be honest it works for a 4 Plus set, but I'm still kinda getting tired of Hulkbusters. We get a new Iron Man figure and minifigure Thanos again. And like I said, it's okay for what it is, but it's still a 4 plus set and not for me. The second set is Black Widow and Captain America Motorcycles. And this is another Age of Ultron set, so we get that version of Cap and a pretty good Black Widow figure. I think it would have been cool for this to be based on the Winter Soldier so we could get the stealth suit, but it's fine. I do like this style of motorcycle. I think the size works, but I still think they haven't done better than the Batman versions. So this is just an alright smaller set. The third and fourth sets are the construction figures. I think they both look good, but I like Wolverine more. I like the claws and the mask gives the face a different shape and makes it more unique to the other figures. It's also another X-Men set that's Wolverine related. We still haven't gotten a single X-Men set that doesn't involve Wolverine in any way. But to be honest, I'm fine with it because I like Wolverine. The other figure is Captain America, which I still kind of like with the colors and the shield, but the face is a little weird. These are all right figures, but not too much of interest to me. The fifth set is Venomized Groot, and this is a weird one. I think the original Groot was all right, but I don't think we really needed another one. I guess it's kind of a cool idea, and it looks like you can turn it fully Venomized, which is nice, but this type of set isn't something I care for much anyway. The sixth set is Endgame Final Battle. I think this is kind of a neat display set, but none of the figures are that unique to this, and the build is not that appealing. But this isn't that bad of a set. It's also the third time we've gotten the in-game final battle as a set. But this does have some nice details like the van with the rat, the Avengers logo, and a portal with a Pegasus included. The display can also be rearranged, which is a good option. The seventh and final set is Spider-Man Final Battle. This is my favorite set out of all of these, and it's a set that many people have been waiting for ever since the movie came out. I'm actually glad that it's a play set and not some giant direct-to-consumer set because I prefer these types of sets. All of the figures are pretty decent. It's nice to get all three Spider-Men, but Green Goblin could have used leg printing and I wish it also came with minifigures for Sandman and Lizard. The build is just the Statue of Liberty's head in that bronze-like color with scaffolding around and I think that represents the scene well and is a nice play and display area. So those are my thoughts on the new Summer 2023 LEGO Marvel sets. The only set I think I'm gonna get is Spider-Man Final Battle. Nothing else interested me that much or was that special. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>